what uh, this show boy Devonte from Devonte's Paradise. Let's get it. How y'all doing today? Pretty good, yeah. Okay, so it looks like we do have the component cables. Uh, let's get into it. So it looks like we have one for sixty dollars. Then we have one for two hundred eighty-nine. One for forty-five. One for one hundred ninety-eight. One for twenty-nine. One for ten. One for two hundred sixty-nine, and then one for sixteen. Of course, we got some more. Let's go on a Reddit. Yeah, I know the deal. Are the GameCube component cables really worth the two hundred dollars over playing HD on the Wii? HD on the Wii. Wii with a component cable is just as good. The GameCube is technically better because it's digital. However, it's better on a technicality. Put them side by side, and I would not be able to tell. Isn't YPBPR component still analog? I'm not sure why they labeled it as a digital port, but a fike, it still outputs a totally analog video signal. The GameCube digital port outputs digital video. The reason component cables and D terminal cables are so hard to come by is because they have a proprietary Nintendo chip to convert the digital signal to analog. The analog RGB signal on the Wii outputs is slightly worse than the GameCube's because the chip built into the GameCube component is slightly better than the DAC chip built into the Wii motherboard. I had no idea it was that way. That explains a lot. Thank you. Hold on. Let me read this one. Read this one one more time. Analog RGB signal, the Wii outputs is slightly worse. Then the GameCube's because the chip built into the GameCube component is slightly better. Uh, it's labeled digital because the port itself is digital. There's an 8 bit parallel ITU. BT656 like video interface and uh yeah I'm done does GameCube support component cables you can also use the official component cables from Nintendo which are extremely expensive here's what where things get a bit complicated it's not all region GameCubes have the same output options I think somebody's thinking about me Let's go shopping, y'all. Let's go shopping. Let's check these out. Okay, okay, okay. Let's do images. videos Ooh. I want to see a video We've covered a ton of different ways on my channel to hook up our retro gaming systems to our modern televisions and with the GameCube in particular, recently we did cover the oh, Retrobit Prism, which is a GT video device that gives us HDMI for our you know, GameCube that has a digital video out port. And I thought that was an affordable <laughs> solution, a really like that. awesome device if you haven't checked that video out. I'll put a card up top, link down below. It's a worthwhile device if you're looking to get your GameCube set up. 
Now, I remember back in the day when I first got my GameCube, how, how did I... Shout out to Mad Little Pixel. TV? Most likely through a composite video. Maybe eventually I got an S-video cable. I don't recall, but one cable I know I never had was a component cable for the GameCube. And over the years, those things have become ridiculously expensive, around the $300 price point if you want component. And now, Retrobit, they have another Prism device that they are launching, which is their Prism component HD cable. And I thought this thing was pretty interesting, so this... You can probably check that out. Check out the rest of the video. Mad little pixel, y'all. Forums. I think I'm a bit burnt out on the GameCube, to be honest with you. So I'm I'm done for now. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Like, comment, subscribe. This your boy Devontae from Devontae's Paradise. Anyway, peace.